What's up, guys? If you are into music reaction channels that are honest, raw, and authentic, look no further. You found your destination. It is the Taz and Philly Show. Welcome to our journey. And make sure that you subscribe below and enjoy the show. <laughs> What is good, you sexy son of a gun? It is Philly. That is Taz. It's the Taz and Philly show, and we are back with another reaction video. What's up, guys? It's Philly and Taz, and we are back with another reaction video. It is the first time that we have actually um, reacted to this group or a song from them. It was a contest winner, which Taz will get into. But they were the first to select the hidden number inside one of our other videos. And this is the song that was requested, which is Led Zeppelin's Whole Lot of Love. So here's the dynamic here. I'm a Zeppelin fan. I've heard this song. I'm sure a lot of you guys have as well. Uh, this is the official music video, but it's compiled of a lot of live clips that are put together to put the video together. So it's pretty cool. This is a, a, a you know a very popular Led Zeppelin song. Taz doesn't know if he's heard it or not. He said by name, it doesn't ring a bell, but it doesn't mean that when it plays that he won't, wouldn't have heard it. I'm actually going to be stunned if he tells me that he didn't, but he did grow up on a different planet than most of the rest of us, so there is a shot that he does not know what this is. But with that being said, it is a contest winner, and uh, you know I love this song. I love Led Zeppelin, so I'm making it very honest. I've heard this before. So the most raw and honest reaction as far as somebody that maybe you never heard it will be coming from him. But uh, that being said, I'll let him get into the uh, the contest winner, and then we will get into listening to the song. So, Taz, let him know. Yes. So as Philly had just said, it is a result of a contest. Um, and I do thank people that have participated. It makes it fun. It makes it inviting. And it makes us communicate with each other. So because um, all, all we know you by is what you text us. There's no Skype on these channels. So I we appreciate that, I should say. The winner of this particular recording that we're about to do, reaction, is Suzanne Wilson. So Suzanne, woo! Congratulations, Suzanne. You've been with us a very long time, probably since the channel's inception. So it's it's fitting that you actually won this. We do appreciate it very much. Yeah, that was really... um coincidental that you had won so you're yes you're one of our og fans and we really really adore you you're always in the comments everywhere which we appreciate that um so uh suzanne wilson this song is for you um yeah, the one thing and I every, thought, oh, sorry, uh, what are you gonna say no no uh, sorry. What, what i was gonna also say is this was a result of looking in the community tab so um if you're watching this for the first time Always check out our community tab. You never know if we're going to have contests in there, polls, um, informative links that might be something that resonate with you or someone that you know. Um, we are an interactive channel. It's not just ta it's not just Philly and I pushing content down your throat and you don't say anything. We want you to react to us and talk to us. So uh, please always look in the channel. Um, so what were you going to say, Philly? No, I was just going to say that I told you that the one band that we had reacted to before, which was Greta Van Fleet, is very inspired by them. So since you've heard them before, you might have an idea of what you're getting, kind of, because the lead singer's voices are very, very, very similar to some degree. You'll see what I'm saying, but nonetheless, let's get into it. I'm very curious to see if you've heard it after hearing it and what your thoughts of it are afterwards. Uh, why don't you uh, let the alerts just ding off in the middle of the video again, like we have hey, discussed usually... this before. I usually remember to turn it off for your crazy ass, but I forgot, so forgive me. No, Let's it's all see. good. We're, we're real and authentic here. We won't even edit that out. But, yeah, Taz has this inability to shut his alerts off in the middle of, of recording live. But, hey. Yes, so, I'm so, doing it for my best friend who has the inability to talk and hear sound effects Yeah. at the same time. Yes, because <laughs> it, it's, definitely, it's definitely not annoying at all. Anyway, I'm about, about to press guys? play. Yes. Would love to press play, and here we go. You need cool air. Baby, I'm not fooling. I'm gonna send yeah back to school. Way down inside. Honey, you. Give you my love. I'm gonna 
you go first because i mean I, i've heard it before so i'm assuming you didn't i guess know that song or haven't heard that before maybe no i never heard that song before okay. um it had a lot of good rhythm to it though it had a lot of good rhythm and um and groove to it um and i like the way he was singing it was it was like um it was like smooth and, and suave you know um that's the only way i can describe it so that's a that's a compliment by the way um it wasn't like you know, since I didn't know what to expect, um, I didn't know if it was like screaming or anything, which I love screaming and I love growling if you watch me react to some other videos, but I didn't know what to expect. So I like all different types of ways people sing. So I like the way he sang that song, at least. It was like smooth. It was suave. It was like a whole lot of love. You know, it was just like smooth and like that. Um, I didn't get the race cars. Is, was was that song written like for a, a movie or something with uh, race cars in it, or is that just something that they chose? Like that zoom. It's not like you, race cars through the song. What? Yes or you, no? I I honestly I'm not sure to be completely honest with you. I know it was written oh. in 1969. Okay. I know it was the I think it was the first song off like their second album. I could be oh, wrong okay. about that, but that was written in '69. So I mean, you gotta. You gotta, you know, think of the times. I mean, like that little breakdown in the middle where it was kind of almost like a jungle kind of beat music. I mean, it was like kind of trippy. the middle. The middle threw me, not the yeah. beat, but when it was just yeah, it was. You heard race car sounds, and then like I don't know if he was about to sneeze. It sounded like or, or moan. I didn't yeah. know that that little. I mean, that was a little part, but I'm just saying a little part. I was like, what the hell's going no, on? No, I, I I understand <laughs> that part of it. I, I, it does. It almost does feel like it's out of place there, but you have to understand it was '69, and that kind of music was. There was a lot of trippy influences, and you know, people were, you know, that was like the hippie era, and it was, you know, smoking weed and taking LSD. You got a picture like you're on a trip. That's what that. That's what that whole oh. fucking thing's like. So it it fits with All the right. times, but but as far as your race car thing, I never even thought of that. I don't. I really. I see what you're saying. I do hear that in it, but I don't even know if that's what that is. Um, but it's, but it's like they, makes... they have a bluesy sound. Like that, their riffs are very bluesy. Believe it or not, they're they're definitely yeah. influenced by the blues. Um, and he's got, you know, I would say he's got a somewhat unique voice. Although <clears throat> that's why I mentioned Greta Van Fleet because his his voice. Now do you see what I'm saying? How they have very similar kind of inflections and, and vocal tone uh, with those two. Yeah, people. you know, yeah. there's not, there's a lot of influence there. So, um, but yeah, now I'm a fan of Zeppelin and their music as much as. There's similarities, like they're they're all over the map too. Like that song there won't sound like a lot of the other ones you hear, which is kind of kind of cool. Like I wouldn't mind at some point going down the rabbit hole of Led Zeppelin because I know everything probably that we would play you might not have heard at all. So it's kind of be interesting to see your reactions to it. But you know, if we just keep it to this yeah. one, you know, Led you... Zeppelin would Led Zeppelin probably would have been somebody I heard like if I was in the car with somebody. It was never a group that I. Went out and got well. What was back then when I was younger, like the cassette tape or whatever, too. This song that's, I think this, was from a movie too. Like they did this in a movie. Set, made a movie. It was in like. Commercial let us know, before. Suzanne. <laughs> let us know, Suzanne, yeah. or anybody else that I'm sure will be in the comments that knows a lot about this. Was this from a movie? I'm just curious. Was there a reason for like the race car sounds, or was that just the thing back in the day? I'm uh, just curious about. So, as a first time listener, because I never heard this song, that threw me off. I'm like. What an interesting sound choice. Yeah. But 
that wasn't enough to skew me from appreciating the thing. Like, it was really groovy. It was in the pocket, and I like that because that's perfect for your mood. Like, sometimes you want a song to get you pumped and motivated. That wouldn't necessarily be it, that song. Like, if you're trying to get pumped up to go either to the gym or go to, uh, I don't know, a day at an amusement park, I would say. But it's really cool, like, when you're in those lackadaisical moments and you're just chilling, you're vegging out. Um, I could definitely groove to that. Like if somebody was playing that in the car and I was listening to it, I wouldn't be like change that station or anything. Like I really, I did like it. I did like it. Um, would it be a song that I would go reach for and play again? No, but that doesn't mean that I didn't appreciate it. Um, it had a lot of good value and, and um, layers to it. Um, and then, you know, part of it, of course, is nostalgic to me. I did like back in the 80s and stuff. I don't know if this goes back to the 70s. I was, 69. All right. I was negative one, uh, negative two. But the 80s is when I really started appreciating music. You know, I was old enough. So, I mean, uh, I know I was in the heart back in the 80s. Oh, my God. So... You mentioned heart one more time. Well, because that's what I have to mention when I'm it's picking the only band groups. you ever pick. It's the only one. Is that the only one? Heart? You can't think yeah. of another band. Heart was like my introduction to listening to like that type of music. Um, other what? than that, it was like Michael what Jackson. It was it was it was hip hop, R and B, and all. You know, you. How, you know how I got into Heart. True story, because we keep it real. You were playing cards. Can I? Uh, I was 16 years old. I was working at Roy Rogers. That was my oh. first. Shut up. That was my first official job. Shut up. It was my first official job. <laughs> one of the coolest. Fucking one Roy of the, Rogers. Shut up. One of the coolest managers that I ever met, even after that, got me into heart. Because she sometimes, we would work till midnight because we closed it up. And she would drive me home and she would play heart. Like I said, I'm in the car as a passenger. I can't say turn it off. But I got into it. I was like, wow, they really sound good. Like, I heard songs like Never and These Dreams. And I got into Heart. So the whole time I was working at Roy Rogers, which was like three years, I think, I would listen to Heart. And then I listened to it a little bit after I left Roy Rogers, you know, get another job. But then, you know, life got in the way and whatever. But I still, if I hear that come on the radio or sometimes if I'm in the mood, I'll bring it up myself on YouTube. It's totally nostalgic. I have, like, a smile on my face. Good times, but I didn't like go balls to the wall and get into heart and then Led Zeppelin and all the other ones. Um, I got then I got into like uh, Air Supply and um, Air Huey Supply. Lewis wow. and the News. That wow. was my that was me branching out from rap and hip hop and stuff. But I didn't do like every band out there on demand. But anyway, I'm sorry. This little trick, uh, just a little nostalgia, Suzanne, which I think you would appreciate knowing a little bit about me. It's like our little personal Q&A since this is your special song. But back to this song. I mean, I did enjoy it. Uh, and it was nice to hear since I've never heard of it before. So, you know, anything you have to say since I know you have a lot to say. You, you're familiar with this? No, I actually don't have much to say because, like, I've heard it a million times. And I've already mentioned I'm a Led Zeppelin fan. I, I like this song. I like Led Zeppelin. Well, are you like me? Are you like me when you heard this song? Did it make you think back to the eighties? Like, was it a good time for you? Do you remember when you this first got 69. into Led Zeppelin? But 69. I mean, he was still playing it in the eighties. When you first heard Led Zeppelin, when it was obviously past sixty nine, do you remember how you were introduced to it? Like, did did your brother play it for you? Did you? Uh, how, do you remember? No, I can't say I can remember exactly when I first heard Led Zeppelin, but like. I don't even remember which song I heard first, but it's just one of those things where, you know, where you're, you hear of a band that's iconic. Led Zeppelin is an iconic band. Most people know who they are. And then, you know, you go, all right, what's the hype about them? So you throw it on. Now, I don't love everything Led Zeppelin did. I mean, there are things about Led Zeppelin that I don't like, but mostly um, I think they're great. I think a lot of other bands that we see today are very highly influenced by them and just, you know, some of the riffs and, you know, some of the way that they, they do their music. But no, I mean, it wasn't right. like I can... I can't think of one specific time, but I, I will tell you this. I had a brother that was 10 years older than me. I was really into hip hop mostly that for whatever reason, hip hop sort of played to my heart. I don't understand really why, because my brother 10 years older than I, you know, listened to a lot of like uh, rock and roll. He listened to like, like ACDC and he would listen to like Cinderella and he would listen to, you know, Bon Jovi and a lot of those bands. And he would play that shit for me. And it just didn't, it didn't hit me like, say, growing up at that time, like Run DMC did or the Beastie Boys. Or Now, there was some, I liked some of it. 
I would say when I got into like my my teenage years and early twenties is when I really started to open up more to like the stuff that I didn't like as much when I was younger. I got into ACDC, you know, and I yeah. got more into Metallica and you know just some of those other you know rock and roll bands. Then you hear stuff like Pink Floyd and you know uh, Led Zeppelin and you know a lot of those different bands of uh, you know Motley Crue and then Guns and Roses. You know you start hitting like uh, some yeah. of that. So. Um, you know, and then my parents, for example, who didn't like any of that shit, my, my, my dad, <laughs> my dad hated rap and my mom who was more open-minded to it and she didn't mind it. She just disliked the fact that I was listening to music that had nothing but curse words in it, but she understood why I liked it. Like I remember having a conversation with her and said, if my favorite rap artist came around, would she take me to the concert? Cause my dad would have told me to go fuck myself. My mom <laughs> would have gone because she was hipper and you knew my mom, but you know what I'm talking about. She was a little bit more, she was cooler in that regard than my dad ever was. Yes, then, I like, know her. You said knew her. So well, know her. Well, my, my, sorry, you know her. Yes. I didn't mean it to sound like past. He's not here anymore, but, but like I, when I was with the, the, like if I would go down and take shore trips with them, like go down to the sh Jersey shore when I was a kid, my mom and dad would listen to like uh, this radio station, which not everybody's going to know what I'm talking about when I say 104.5, but it was like the Pointer Sisters and Elton John and, you know, stuff like that. And I'm like, you know, uh, or the Bangles. And I, I would get subjected to that. And then I'd find myself actually liking some of that shit. And then yeah. I, so I was, my, my got real eclectic where I was like, okay, I can listen, I can have the Pointer Sisters on my, on my playlist. I can have, you know, a slip knot on my playlist, and then I can have Led Zeppelin, and they're, they're all fucking so yeah. far away from one another. So, so I'm the same way too. Yeah, I'm I'm eclectic too. A lot of what he had said, like if you're if you're in the car with people or growing, you know, m myself growing up with my family, and I'm in the car and they're listening to different types of music. That's how I got into Kenny G, because my mom would oh play this God. song by Kenny G called Lady, and I was like, I like that song, so yeah. I started singing Lady. In the damn car, and then you know, and then she got into Kenny G. I mean, Kenny, I got Kenny G mixed up with um, Kenny Rogers, yeah. Kenny oh, Rogers did totally Lady, Fucking Kenny G. no, but I had the song right. Kenny Rogers had a song called Lady, and I would sing that, <laughs> yeah. Two but totally Kenny, people, though. yeah. But Kenny G did the instrumentals, and then she got me into Chuck Maggion. Who? Um, and the Doobie Brothers. His name was Chuck Maggione. He, uh, the Doobie uh, Brothers, I know. But anyway, yeah. So, I mean, I got eclectic in that way as well. Fucking and Kenny then, G. What are we on, a fucking elevator? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, that was really, really cool. It was a trip down memory lane. Well, more memory lane for him. But memory lane for me because, you know, the the, clar the clarity of the video, you know, it's older, of course. So, um, I miss some of those times, you know, with the the hair and the bell bottom jeans and all that stuff. So yeah, but yeah, I was vibing off of it. So let's vote. Okay. We can vote. I pass. I guess I'm supposed to say, how about you? Huh? Oh, how about you? How about you? I, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's tough because I mean, I've heard, this is more for you. I feel like, cause you've never heard this shit. It's kind of funny for me to watch you watch that for the first time. I feel like some of the subscribers that are fans of these bands that are watching us watch it for the first time. Cause I'm honestly stunned that you've never in your life come across this song. I really am. I don't know why you're you. stunned. Like, have you heard every band out there that's popular? No, no but this is... Then why would it be stunning? No, because this has been everywhere since 19th. I mean, they play this a lot. This has been in movies. This has been in, 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 in TV shows. This has been in commercials. This, this like a lot been... of other like a lot of other bands. Like, I was Just into saying. the Bee Gees. The Bee Gees was in a lot of shit. That's what oh, made me see... Um, oh, that's what made me see Saturday Night Live and um, Staying Alive and stuff. I love Staying Alive. That was my shit. Suzanne, I know you didn't ask for his singing, but unfortunately you got it, girl. Anyway. The point is there were so many famous artist back then you can't say like it's, it's one thing if you said oh Listen, there was only there was only three popular bands back I'm then how could you not hear led I'm zeppelin if there's like a hundred and i told you at least a riff at least that that main well maybe another song you said they got a lot of songs and stuff he's getting too excited i think you probably would know some led zeppelin i just yes i'm a little stunned that you've never heard this before but let me, it doesn't retract from my statement that 
it's it was fun to at least watch you watch that for the first time because I thought genuinely you were going to be like, oh, I have heard this before, but you did it. And that like, OK, so cool. So, Suzanne, somehow, some way you found this song that's been out since 69 that he's never heard. And uh, that was amazing. That's the most surprising thing to me out of this whole thing. So that's a help. Well, selection. unfortunately, you made him happy. But I'm glad I made you happy, Suzanne. That's all that matters right there, girl. Um, as long as everybody else who will watch this when we load it up tomorrow, I'm happy that you'll like have your trip down memory lane. I'm happy for everybody except for Philly. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> all anyway, right, so, get us out of here. All right. Well, anybody that's new to the channel or old to the channel, we have a two rating system here. This is we already we're... did it. You well, goof. That's, that's true, but I feel like I got to do it anyway. It's a two rating system called Answer Pass, and we passed it. So you're right. I'm, this is, I'm used to doing it. It's okay. I fucked up. But so what? It's all right. We'll live another day. So thank you so much for being here today. You uh, We gave a thumbs up to this subscriber request contest winner, Suzanne. Thank you so much, Suzanne. Again, Led Zeppelin, whole lot of love. Let us know in the comments. I suppose you've heard this, but let me know if maybe you have it. This is the first time you've heard it, so that'd be cool. But again, from myself, Philly, that is Taz. We are the Taz and Philly Show. We'll be back very soon with another video. Have a great night. Peace. And take it easy and keep it breezy.